Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. What if I told you that in six weeks you could have a six pack? All you have to do is make a decision and make it happen. Get the knowledge you need and just simply make it happen. It's just not always that easy because what happens is usually we'll be super motivated at first and then slowly we will start losing that motivation. And so today I want to give you 10 different tips on how you can stay motivated to achieve those goals. And I'm saying get abs because I know that's what's going to draw your attention. But what really matters is the energy that you get from your healthy nutrition, the happiness you get from exercising every day, the confidence you gain from setting a goal and achieving it and every day getting off the couch even though you maybe don't want to but you do it anyway because you know that that's what you need to do to achieve the results you want to achieve. My number one is setting a clear goal. Setting the clear goal can be I want to be able to run three miles in 25 minutes. I want to lose 20 pounds. I want my muscle mass to grow this amount. I want to be able to squat 200 pounds or whatever it is to set a very clear goal. Just something very clear and specific so that you can measure it and be able to see the results as you go on this journey. And then also set a deadline. It will keep you motivated because you'll know, okay, I have to do this today because I know that I have to achieve this goal by this and this day. Make a plan what exactly you need to do every single day in order to achieve this goal. The second tip I've talked about before, but it is just so freaking amazing. It is the five second rule by Mel Robbins. It is if you are waking up in the morning, you told yourself the night before you're gonna get up early and go for a morning run before work. You obviously do not want to but the trick here is that you have five seconds to get up five seconds before your mind starts making up excuses on why not to do this so you in bed you're tired you don't want to you count to five and you get up and you put on your running clothes and you go out and run and the same if you've decided to work out at night if you're on the couch watching some fun series and you don't want to go go work out again before five seconds has passed you get up you put on your gym clothes and you go to the gym the third tip is motivation to stay motivated I would put quotes on stickers and hang them around different places in the house I would put a photo as my screensaver that a photo that motivated me. Another thing could be setting in small reminders in your phone so they pop up during the day. Just like small motivational things that remind you of the end goal on what it is that you want to achieve to stay motivated and actually do the things, stick to the plan and do the things that you need to do to actually achieve your goal. The fourth tip is not crazy it is getting an accountability partner for some people it just helps having an accountability partner I probably wouldn't choose someone who is the sweetest sweetheart I would probably choose someone who you respect and know is gonna tell you the truth number five is asking yourself you're on the couch or in bed whatever and or after work you're tired after a full day of work and you know you have to go to the gym ask yourself will I regret not doing this workout just ask yourself that because the answer is probably always gonna be yes and that little question has helped me a lot because if I ask myself that question and I say yes I will regret it then it just it makes me do it because I know I'm gonna be happy it reminds me that I'm gonna be happy after the workout and I can enjoy whatever it is I want to do after the workout number six simple as well is signing up for a class that could be a gym class a cycling class a boxing class a dance class whatever it is signing up for a class so that you know there's no way out and you know that you've signed up you have to do it and maybe bring a friend have a friend sign up with you so that you guys keep each other accountable and you know when you've signed up there's no way out number seven is so powerful and so so important meditate on the feeling you want to achieve. So close your eyes, visualize yourself doing the thing that you want to achieve, doing the half marathon that you want to achieve. Visualize the feeling of crossing that finish line 
after running that half marathon. The happiness, the proudness from doing the things that, that don't always feel nice and comfortable, but pushing yourself to be the best version of yourself. So meditation and visualization are so damn powerful, like probably the most powerful of them all. So when you're not motivated, you'll always be able to go back to that place and feel those feelings that you were feeling um, when meditating and visualization, visualization? Visualizing the feelings and the emotions from achieving your goal. Number eight is basically tricking yourself. All you say to yourself when you're at home, you don't feel like going to work out, uh, is I just have to get to the gym and warm up. Because I have realized that it's always, the hardest part is always getting there. Because once you're there, you you kind of like, you see the other people working out and you like, after warming up, your body's like, it's like pretty ready to go. So just tell yourself, I just have to get there and warm up. I think we as humans are afraid of discomfort. And so the thought of having to go to the gym and work out is uncomfortable if you're not used to it and you're not in the habit yet. For me, the feeling isn't anymore, but it was in the beginning. And so we fear discomfort. And so before it um, becomes comfortable, we have to do it enough in order for it to come become comfortable. And so we have to make discomfort our friend and make it a habit and then it's not uncomfortable anymore. Tell yourself, okay, I'm just gonna go to the gym and warm up because then once you're there, I think 99% of the time you're gonna wanna actually work out because you know, now you're here and might as well. Number nine is getting a notebook and keeping track of your process. Writing down your plan of workouts, tracking, okay, for this exercise I was able to lift this amount of weight and it took me this long and if you're running, I ran three miles in this amount of time and so that you can see the process because there's something really fun about growing. I think growing is actually the key to happiness. So I think if we keep track and we see process and we see that we're growing, we're gonna want more of that because it's exciting. And then when you're not motivated, you can open up your notebook and you can see, okay, actually, today it might be the day that I could get even faster today or lift even heavier. And so it's exciting and uh, there's process and growth in that and that's I think that can help motivating a lot So the 10th motivational tip I got from Tony Robbins when I'm not in the habit I do not enjoy running and so when I was in, in Australia this year and there was no dance training There was a gym, but I like also mixing up cardio. I do not enjoy running But so I set a goal that every morning right when I got up I wanted to go for a run and I did not really feel like that, at least not in the beginning because it wasn't a habit yet. I got this from Tony Robbins. He said that when he went for a run, he would say, he would scream, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable. And that sounds crazy, but that's what I would do when I didn't feel like running. I would say that to myself maybe 20 times and that would kind of motivate me to go for this run because I would start believing that I was unstoppable. And then as I was running, I would say as well, I'm unstoppable, I'm unstoppable. And it gave me so much like inner like motivation and power and feeling of me being able to do anything I wanted to in life. And so that was so powerful. So thank Tony Robbins for that because that, that was, amazing and so if you're not motivated try saying to yourself again and again and again I'm unstoppable I'm unstoppable I'm unstoppable because that is so powerful I hope you enjoyed these 10 tips on how to get motivated to go work out go exercise if you'd like this video give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in the next video so, baby.